everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Isaac. Afterbirth! That's right, this is Afterbirth. Okay. Don't want to get the wrong A blank birth. NLP2 8HTV. We have bad stats, and we gotta make up for the fact, you know, if you didn't take Bob's brain on the last one, we gotta take it on this one. You might say you don't have to. Why don't you just take items you think will give you a better chance of winning? You don't understand! This is bigger than me, and it's bigger than you, and it's bigger than Edmund, and it's bigger than Tyrone. If I don't take Bob's brain, they said they would not give me back my son. Okay, like, we're like actually super close to death after taking that ill-advised hit earlier. So, that, sensible. Believe it or not, that was my decision to walk in there and uh, get hit by that fire. Why? Because I thought if I stood still, I was gonna get hit by the champion and would be killed. So, well, this is, this is a heck of a start here. A little embarrassing to take damage like that right off the bat, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight, we're gonna win, we're gonna go to Washington, we're gonna go to Iowa, we're gonna go to South Dakota, etc., etc. Howard Dean dot MP4. What's, what's the danger right now? Well, I would like to be able to hit enemies. I thought that that would be advisable in my quest for greatness here. If I could hit enemies, I was thinking that would be good. We need HP. Where's the most likely avenue to pick up HP? A boss fight. Where's the best avenue to pick up HP? Uh, balls of Steel pill. Would really go a long way right now. To the point where I'm actually like, okay, this was the right idea regardless. We have to buy the Spirit Heart. I'm extremely tempted to shoot for the um, the PhD instead because it's gonna make it so much better. The uh, placebo that is, but in the end we only need one good pill either way. So I'm gonna try to just roll like this. This should be fine. We got a bomb and a key. I'll accept like eight bombs. If you wanna give me eight bombs, that's fine. We can use eight bombs to probably get uh, whatever we would like from that shop at the cost of our donation machine, which we have like really not been exceptionally kind to lately. But it's in a decent place. Emperor card. Um, more of a blank card play than a uh, placebo play. But I just feel good that we're like back in a decent amount of HP here. And Bob's brain is actually doing work. It's a lovely <sighs> item when you can afford it. Please. Oh, I'm, I'm getting in my own head. I'm psyching myself out. Madness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute failure. Battery charge. That's not worth anything. Battery charge. Okay, that, I mean, that one's super my bad. Actually, all the damage so far on this run has been super my dad. It's been super my dad. No, it's been super my bad. Hopefully, we find... Uh, the money to get that PhD. I'm telling you, dude, that's gonna sell a lot of tickets. It's gonna put a lot of butts in seats if we can get that PhD. Right now, I don't think I should feel bad because it seems like we wouldn't have been able to do it um, even if we hadn't spent our bomb. We still wouldn't have had the HP necessary to get this done, so I don't... I'm not, you know, feeling too beaten up over it. You gotta be real careful with this shot. You gotta be real careful with that shot. There we go. We got it to blow up far enough away from me that I'm no longer frightened. Taking damage against Monstro is not an unforeseen consequence. You know, it's happened on myriad occasions. We're the greatest player of all time. We got HP. We have no grace. But this Kong has a coconut gun! Okay, wait, 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 that can't be the secret room. That can't be the secret room, you dummy! It's okay. We're still, in, like, we're much better off now as a result of having even, like, the slightest bit of renewable HP. And, uh, I mean, I gotta admit, I'm pretty tempted to just pop this Emperor card and maybe, you know, pick up a defensive deal with the Devil. We, we in the end, don't have a choice uh, whether it's a defensive or an offensive deal with the Devil. All we can choose is whether or not to walk through the door when we get there, but... Yeah, okay, uh, Lifesteal's not really relevant. I actually tend not to like Tapeworm, because it raises our shot height instead of range, which can have some weird, like, 
it looks like you're hitting an enemy, but you're not actually hitting them, etc., etc. So, um, I don't really like it, but there are situations in which it has utility, and this is one of them. Uh, I would give up placebo for shoot the whoop. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And by desperate measure, I mean making an incredibly sane choice uh, based on the value of two different items compared. Okay, I thought that would hit. Did not. Instead, we got a troll bomb for all of our worries there. Yeah, I mean, I basically hate this. We have to be super close to start these things off, too. But we should be safe, like... I mean, here is not any safer than, like, a lot of other places, but... Certainly, I think it's the best chance is, like, being down here. Because if we, we... We can't outrun the bombs from anywhere else. But it may not work. It worked! Okay. It took an extra second there, but it did work. Um... What are we looking for? Tinted rocks. Tinted rocks we can blow up with Bob's brain, please. Uh, crawl space. Crawl space with the rosary. I don't care. Anything to give us some dang old spirit hearts here. Or a deal with the devil that gives us Abaddon, nine lives. Uh, you know, anything. Ceremonial robes, etc., etc. Um, one thing I've noticed, I mean, obviously everybody's noticed, but when you're playing anti-birth, you can't be as aggressive on the devil deals because if you can't pay for a deal, either it'll just kill you. There's a tinted rock. Either it'll just kill you, or um, it'll reduce you down to less HP than you were expecting. Sometimes zero, sometimes half a heart, depending on the situation, I think. Um, but they don't they don't allow you to be as aggressive on Devil Deals as you can be in, uh, in Afterbirth. Which I think is a good way to augment difficulty. You know, the Anti-Birth, or sorry, Afterbirth gets a little bit of a... Uh, of flack for being a little bit too easy sometimes, and I think there's validity to that, but... Uh, I'm going to take advantage while the sun's up, you know, make hay while the sun's up. I'm going to take Guppy's Tail. Guppy's Tail's a big pickup because we can um, start that Guppy transformation, which we're not even close to yet, but could be in the future. Still have an item room, plenty of keys, you know, golden chest could work out really well for us here. I'm probably going to go to the curse room and then Emperor card out. It's a bit of a, it's like, again, a cute play that's not necessarily the right play. But I think in this situation it is the right play to save half of a, uh, a spirit heart because they are... You know, very, very precious resources right now. We'll go back for that. We've got a library, which should be this... Oh, it's not a library. It's a double key room. Well, um, regardless of what's in that double key room, we can almost certainly afford to go to it, unless we get, like, a double golden chest drop here or something, but we'd probably prioritize the double key room over it anyway. Please, stop running. Be like second to last track off of Animal Collective's Magnum Opus, Meriwether Post Pavilion. No more running. What do we have? It's a one room for a full run reroll. We gotta try. So we got anti grav, still no HP. Um, we got a fly, like pretty horrible rate of fire, admittedly. Um, hopefully, our damage is better, but we won't know until we move on here. Did we lose out there? I mean, maybe, maybe not. We still have the, the Guppy precedent. We just don't have the effect of Guppy's tail anymore, which, to be honest with you, might be for the best. Like, that might be ideal. These guys are actually impossible to hit. I think we were in a really tough spot. <laughs> like, I, did, I don't want to be overly negative. But I don't think we're well positioned right now. Uh, you're an invisible man! Blank rune. Ah, the gaz. You guys ever just scream something you regret? Ah, the gaz! That's what my dad always said when he came home from work. Ah, the gaz! Doesn't make any sense. So we're down to one spirit heart, but I'm gonna persevere here. I took a lot of damage. And I'm not proud of most of this damage, honestly, but I'm also not proud of my rate of fire, so if we could, you know, like, find a way to not be garbage right now, that would be awesome. It's very troubling to me that my, uh, that my evil eye shot did, like, three shots in zero seconds there. And by three shots in zero seconds, I mean zero shots in three seconds. It was actually horrible. What the hell, dude? Yes, thank you. Finally, somebody around here knows how to do their dang job. Okay, oh the gas, oh the gas. Oh, he's 
dumb when I had life flash before my eyes and then I died. That was, dude, honestly, shit reroll. We did die, though. I mean, I can't deny that, but shit reroll. Let's go back for an Eden run here. Very poor play as well. I'll, I'll admit that that was... We contributed to our own loss there. No 1H, TLXC. Life goes on. I'm not absurdly attached to this streak as a result of the, um... You know, the whole anti-birth plus afterbirth plus thing. But I'm still a little embarrassed by that loss, but life goes on. That one really was, you know... Bad start, plus bad play, plus that bad reroll. Now, I if I had taken any one element of badness out of there, it could have turned into a win, and I control my own play. So I'm saying that that loss is my own fault. But, uh... You know, if, if you crash your car on a snowy road, you don't go, oh, the weather's bad. You go, I'm an idiot, I shouldn't have been driving like a moron. I hope, anyway. It depends, you know, personal responsibility and all that. But, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And I'm just saying, the 2015 Ford Focus has a Hemi. It doesn't actually. It's like a 1.0 liter. Which is, I think, bad. I don't know how, I mean, it's not bad necessarily. It's a functional automobile for getting around the downtown city center, but, uh... You know, if it get, gets mad snowy, you probably want to bust out the, you know, Dodge Ram or something like that. Or the Doge Ram, like, depending on how much you're into meme culture. Well, we're in a very similar situation to the one we were in uh, on the last run, except actually this run is good, or at least has good DPS. So, I'm kind of excited to see where this one goes, and, you know, it hopefully it doesn't ball too far out of control. If it ever balls out of control, because I want a chance for redemption. You know, we lost a run that was hard. Let's try to win a run that's tricky. And not just in the means of rocking a rhyme to rock a rhyme that's right on time. Should be using uh, Blue Candle more. But honestly, our tiers are, are functional. So I'm not feeling too bad for this. I'm going to shoot the moon, high jump the broom right here and hope that we get a uh, bomb. I was hoping for bomb and key, but we could still convert that. That's fine. This is fine. Even if we can't get to our item room, it was probably worth it to get that spirit heart and give us... Uh, Increase survival. Hopefully we get another key anyway, but even if we don't, having two spirit hearts is worth something. I would like to pick up a key though. I mean, I can't stress this enough if there's some kind of cosmic lord watching this. First off, big fan of your work. Secondly, if you can give me a cosmic shout out, that would be great. Thirdly, a cosmic key or a key of the more terrestrial variety would also be fine. I'll accept either. Christmas is now over, so I'm not, you know, expecting gifts. But if you would like to bequeath them to me, I would still um, accept them without reticence, if you will. Dead eye. Amazing item. Especially with uh, a pretty good rate of fire, dead eye can, you know, rack up pretty quickly. You are an idiot. You are actually an idiot. I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to you. You guys are beautiful people, but please just give me a single spirit heart. I mean, the gurglings should pretty much just get dusted. And who's next? Larry Jr.'s? Uh, Pin. Pin should also get dusted. But I'm eager to uh, open these other two red chests and possibly get, you know, the lifeblood of the run to increase slightly, or maybe you just get troll bombs instead. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we can actually... Mm, we're pretty close, at least, to thinking about taking a deal with the devil. Can't afford to play this bad long-term, though. It's a little embarrassing. Now, we've certainly played worse than this and succeeded on runs before, but, you know, that, that's why it's a bad habit, is because, you know, nine times out of ten, you might not be punished for playing, like, a freaking moron, but... One time out of ten, you're going to get dusted yourself when you are the one who wishes to be doing the dusting. Now. Bad gas. Not very useful. Uh, and neither was that deal with the devil, but that opens up the precedent for deals with the angel. I like to follow up a loss with a mega Satan victory whenever possible. Which is almost never. Uh, and we have an Alge's rune. The Alge's rune is like a, a B-tier... Um, Boss Rush Enabler, because it gives us a lot of safety on Boss Rush, and I'd rather teleport out most of the time. You know, unless you're absurdly powerful, you'd usually rather just bounce, but, uh... I think that there is a case to be made sometimes that, uh, you know, doing it is the right call. And we could get absurdly powerful on this run, we're certainly not there yet. But we're not necessarily far from Guppy. 
We're not necessarily, uh, you know, far from very high DPS. Don't need too much more. And our HP is actually acceptable. The super bandage pickup, followed by a deal with the devil in which there was nothing of value, is, uh, is a nice enabler for feeling pretty good about your HP for a little while, at least. Still awaiting that key, but Deadeye is doing work here. So what am I looking for as far as items go? Dude, by the way, somebody made an awesome... I hope you don't think I was offended by this. Someone made an awesome animation that was like, this is NL in a nutshell. And um, it was it was text-based. It was a GIF. It wasn't, I mean, it's an animated GIF, so this is an animation. You get what I mean is what I'm trying to say. And it was like, you know... Hey, so what do we need on this run? Oh, it would just be nice if we, you know, got piercing shots and a couple of DPS upgrades and blah, blah, blah. It's a one run if we get one DPS, etc., etc. And then I nearly kill myself by walking on spikes to take dumb damage. And then I walk into an item room and there's like 40 special items that are of the best quality in the game. And they go, oh, thank you. And then, you know, Tomo, Ruka, etc. It was really well done. It was a loving homage and I appreciate it. But now I'm self-conscious and I'm like, I don't want to say that I need piercing shots and DPS. But I don't really need piercing shots and DPS. I... But if they're offering, I'm not going to kick them out of bed for eating crackers. And the run is enabled. Anytime you can get through the you know first three floors in like under six minutes, you got to consider that you're doing pretty well. So basically you got an HP upgrade and then we'll get our uh, angel precedent started here. As soon as I said Angel, precedent. The deal with the devil is not necessarily uh, lost forever, but oftentimes it is, I think. You know, it usually ends up being. At least, you know, they usually gives you maybe like a short-term Angel boost. Or, I'm not sure, actually. I should stop prognosticating. But uh, it usually gives you a short-term Angel boost at the very least. Because you usually get like a second key piece soon after, and then sometimes later they throw you a deal with the devil. Uh, I think that's just anecdotal, though. I think I'm being... I think I'm being unscientific. Willfully ignorant, if you will. No keys. Plenty of battery charges. The time I have a spacebar item that recharges naturally, but no freaking keys. And, oh, one freaking key. Okay. Do we have the means with which to bomb into a special room? It doesn't look like it. Uh, unless we really want to bomb into the boss trap room, which is not sensible. So, I am going to peep this in the hopes of getting another key, and it's just a red heart, unfortunately, but... You know, the beauty of having solid DPS is that we should be completely fine here. And we got more HP, even if the Angel Statue, uh... You know, is annoying. At least we got... HP. We got no item, but we got HP, and we got a second key for finishing this off here. That feels like a secret room, but we don't have a bomb regardless. Okay. Honestly, we took Epic Fetus on the last run, so I'm not going to take it here. I think that that is a, a sane and sensible choice. Now, it was fine on the last run. It was fun on the last run, because we had... Uh, well, the last run before we died. We had... Uh, Wiggle Worm, as well as... Uh, Tech X, as well as Tech Point Five, so we created like a sweet web of pubic laser hair when we fired, which is a great sentence to begin with, and I'd love to say it again, pubic laser hair. Um, but, on this one, it's just gonna blow things up and we're gonna steamroll, probably, so. I also think I play a lot worse when I have Epic Fetus. Unless I put myself in a situation where it's like Epic Fetus, but it's guaranteed to kill us. In which case, you have to play better, or you're not gonna be playing it at all. Joker. Oh. If we get a bomb, I may just pop this Joker card. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Joker beats Alges. Because it's a teleportation card, and especially with two minutes to burn, that would have been like the exact opposite way to handle things. The correct way to handle things is... I mean, what I was thinking is there'd be a blood bank in here, and that would have made the situation a lot easier. We would have popped Alges, and played the blood bank and hoped for the best. Instead, there's a stone chest we can't even open. So we're going to play these, hoping for a bomb. Yeah, yeah, don't stand there. Please. I mean, I'm begging you. Just, no, I don't even want Skatol. I would consider that a slight. Just give me a single... Okay, the red hearts are not necessary, but... Like, a single bomb would be good if you got... Okay, remember that time people used to think you could actually watch the Three Skull Monty? The number of comments... Years and years of comments. Human... You know... 
effort wasted commenting. I watched it. It's in the far left one. Why do you always take the middle? Try to watch it. It's, it's, it's the same animation. Every time you dang jokers. Okay, blow this up. Big money. Big money. Got an HP upgrade out of it effectively. Uh, we're going to pop the joke. No, we're not going to pop the joker card. Right. Don't be an idiot. You just went over this. Nothing's changed. The reason I was thinking about popping the Joker card is because, uh, you know, we, we have a bomb. Before we waste a bomb doing something stupid, or waste all of our bombs doing something stupid, let's see if we can give ourselves the Angel Statue. But we should really hold on to it because it's great, you know, boss rush practice as well. Um, although, actually, now we have Undefined, and Undefined, we can now loop on the chest because... Wait, no, it's the wrong game! I was like, I, someone left an, a, a tweet for me and was like, hey, dude... Remember, in Rebirth, you can loop with Undefined on the chest. So if you're playing Anti-Birth, you can loop. But this is not Anti-Birth, so we can't loop. We're going to go back with the blue uh, candle. And that, that sort of stuff is going to happen as we lead up to Afterbirth Plus's release. And, you know, we play both Anti-Birth and Afterbirth consecutively or sequentially. Or, you know, you get the idea. Although it might happen after Anti-Birth's... Or Anti-Birth Plus's... Wait. <laughs> it might happen after Afterbirth Plus's release as well as we continue to play both. You know, as is expected right now, at least. Okay, we will use the Joker card. Even though it is a boss rush enabler, I'm... Oh, I took a deal with the freaking devil. I still... I stand by it, but I'm a little disappointed. Um, I, uh... I can take the Algis Rune to the boss rush and... Dang it, Bobby! Oh, I mean, here's the thing. I resent sometimes that uh, in Afterbirth... You're kind of, you have dual allegiances, you know? You can choose to either take good deals, you know, deals that statistically tend to be better. Deals with the devil for, you know, this is what I'm saying here without any artifice attached to the language. Um, deals with the devil tend to be better. So you have to choose between taking those or am I going to be like a, a fun guy and am I going to try to fight Mega Satan? And it's like, we should have the opportunity for both is all I'm trying to get at here. I think we should also, I mean, we can see everything here. Let's shoot the moon, go for Guppy. You know, we sacrifice a spirit heart to go to the curse room. Or, I guess we could use an Algis rune and sacrifice half a heart, which is the right idea, but... I don't know if I really want to get the reputation for being the guy who wants to... walk back for a single Algis rune. Like, you know that song? Oh, when I wake up... Oh, I promise not to be, not to be the guy who walks across an entire floor to save a single half red heart. Like, that's just not the dude I want to be. And when I go out, oh, well, you know I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be the man who goes out to get a half red heart to make his run statistically 0.35% more likely to win. Ooh, head of the keeper. Thank you, Algis Rune. And this is the guppy dream, of course. This is, uh, one makes you cat pill. Which turns us into a little kitty. This is the Meow Meow pill. Turns you into a little little kitty. And I would take 1,000 pills and I would take 500 more to be the man who took 1,500 pills looking for one that turns you into a kitty can. Okay, you that's it's just this just stupid, let's be honest. Ah, uh, blank rune. Well, we're still on pace, so, I mean, we'll save Blank Rune for now. I'm going to use the key. Smoke them if you got them. That's what, that's what the whole point of Guppy's nonsense is. Okay, let's try Blank Rune. Ansus. We know at least where the second secret room is, and we save the Hermit for boss rush purposes. Please be Nine Lives Mega Boss. You are Nine Lives Mega Boss! What a world! Didn't give me nine lives, but still, like, your heart's in the right place. I appreciate that. I gotta be better with Tinted Rocks. I've been skipping so many Tinted Rocks lately. Okay, well, the run's actually in very, very good shape right now, in case that wasn't obvious. We're fairly stacked up here. Uh, we have no... Oh, Curse of the Maze has shifted us around. Hermit versus Alges? You take the Hermit card, because you got that boss rush potential sewn up. And show enough, if we can get there, you know I'm going to be taking advantage of that. What was in here? It was uh, an item I didn't want. Uh, Undefined, that's right. Undefined can help you teleport as well, but that item... I, I'm basically not taking it out of protest now that it, you can't loop on the chest. It's not like we might as well just take, you know... 
a single telepills or a single hermit card, which is what we're already doing. So, hematemesis. Thought maybe I don't know what I was thinking with that actually, but life goes on. Now this golden chest conveniently moved all the way up here from like the bottom of the map. Now that we can actually afford it, key wise, that's nice and. We'll move along. 15 seconds behind schedule, but feeling good. S slightly too slow. You know how I feel. I think I'm actually going to be like mega aggressive here. My idea is don't even worry about saving a teleport card. The odds of getting one back are pretty high. And uh, as much as it's going to pain you to admit, sometimes the laziness of Northern Lion betrays its singular genius, doesn't it? And look at that. We scammed the game out of a teleport card. And what did we get out of this? Almost nothing, admittedly. Like, it's just the pride thing that my prediction came true so quickly. And it's really just, you know, variance. Thank you, Papa Variance. As always, for making me look smarter than I am in this situation. And, you know, worse than I am in some situations. Clutch dodge there. Actually, I felt that shot coming in and was like, let's do this. Don't stand there. Don't stand there. I think I'd give us a fairly high chance of the win right now. Two of hearts could be relevant, but I hope it isn't. If it is, we've made a mistake somewhere down the line. Wouldn't be the first time, but... Um, we're so, like... we got so many different avenues for success. Is this one of them? I don't think so. To be honest with you, Libra's a little bit of a weird one. I, I think it's improved our speed, and um, that means it's probably cost us. This is where it would be nice to have Missing Hut again. I mean, I know you can install it for Afterbirth, but come on, who are you talking to here? We've got double little haunts, which are actually regular sized haunts. I think our rate of fire came up as well. Not by much, but by a little bit. And again, with Deadeye, I think that um, the higher our rate of fire, the happier we'll be. And the speed actually got me out of a sticky situation there. Uh, not that time, though. Broken clock is, you know, right twice a day. Blue cap for tears upgrade. Shot speed down is probably like a mild anti-synergy with uh, Deadeye, but not enough to make me feel like it's not worth taking the... Uh, the tears upgrade, of course. Dude! You have other attacks, okay? Okay, but I'm not that one though, please. Don't spin. I know what you're thinking, and I don't need no reason. So is this, um... As your shot travels, you get an all stats upgrade. This is the cool, like, Libra Lump of Coal synergy that you actually see quite frequently because Lump of Coal shows up, like, half of every run, so... Or on, on half of all runs, so. I don't know even know how that's working. Again, it would be nice to have missing HUD here. Uh, basically, we get a free rune and those pills and a key if we walk here. We gotta check it. Awaz. Well, we, we like did slightly better than breaking even because of the key, I suppose, but... We're a little slower than uh, schedule here, but that's because... Oh, come on. You were dead. A little slower than schedule here. That's because we're looking around for the item room. I right, fuck it. Reroll us. See what happens. We've turned into Dan Giesling plus Isaac's heart here, which scares the absolute Christ out of me. Uh, I think that this is bad, but we have Capricorn. And Capricorn is okay. We have a lot of money. We have a... Sp okay, that was an accident, but we have... A spacebar item now. Tammy's head scares the crap out of me, dude. Bumbo's kind of nice, though. Do we have kidney stone, or why are, why are our shots weird here? We got Zodiac. We got triple shot. This is much worse. This is much worse than it was mere moments ago, but life goes on. And there must have been a greed fight. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can make boss rush happen. I'm more skeptical now, but... Uh, nothing's impossible. As long as you believe there's a way, there's a way. Wouldn't it be great if I just spoke in Dang Easling Big Brother quotes for the rest of the game? No? All right. Point, point taken. We have Continuum. I should have noticed that from the, you know, big-ass purple tears. Obviously, Bloody Lust as well is awesome. 
You kind of need the right enabler. We got Dark Bum. Money equals power. Oh, yeah, Bumbo. Bumbo, take it all. If we can get a mad Bumbo, we might be fine. Not betting too much on boss rush right now, though. And that's completely okay. Remember, if you can get in front of the shots, you can protect Isaac's heart. Wow, that was embarrassing. Okay. Uh, tower, not very important here. Bumbo, how'd you get stuck over there? That's embarrassing, man. Well, we're not going to make it. It's okay, but it's a slight disappointment. We can now use, we still use the stars card. That's a great thing about it. It's multifunctional. We can save a key out of it. We don't even have to ride a cowboy. That part's optional. Thank God. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I actually thought that was an anti-birth enemy for a second there. I got freaked out. And then said, I can't remember, like, there's four levels to Bumbo, and I always, like, whenever we get to level three, I'm like, there we go, max level Bumbo. That's not the case. Uh, wait, has he changed? Did the crack on the ship get bigger here? Don't use your key, don't use your key, you're fine. Come on. Yeah, okay, we definitely take Humbling Bundle. And I think, you know, now's not the time to be making any enemies. Voltaire. Michael Scott. What we're going to do is donate as much as we can, get our donation machine back up there. Fuck it, let's shoot for the moon. Luck up, that's beautiful. Seems like luck up is, like, just not a common pill. Now, could we still make Boss Rush? I think, in theory, the chance exists. We're going to have to be... Very economical. Even having made it this far, we're still going to have to be pretty fast. Lover's card is not worth it. And that was that was an uneconomical decision on my part. So far, so good. I don't give a shit about a deal with the devil at this point. We actually did it. We got the Polaroid. So you got uh, 30 Touch, which might be amazing with Isaac's Heart, Satanic Bible, the Cancer Item. I think we gotta, you know, go for, again, the, the zany play, which actually could be overpowered here. Scapular's quite nice on defense as well. Um, but the, the zany play, which could be overpowered here, is walking to enemies, turn them into poop. Absolutely. As long as the enemies don't touch Isaac's Heart, we should be fine. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test this theory out as we come down here. Okay, you, you can't run away from enemies, that's the thing. This is the ultimate, like, balls-to-the-wall aggro strat. I'd love it, but also it scares the shit out of me. Bloody Penny seems great in this situation. He didn't die. Is this horrifying? Yeah, you know, like, to a large degree, it's the scariest thing I've ever done. But as long as you work it right, it, it's amazing. Enemies that shoot bullets are like our worst nightmare right now. Now keep in mind, we got the scapular. There's no reason not to shoot as we do this. I don't know what my brain's thinking here, but... There we go. You should all be dead. Um, scapular gives us like a free hit per room, which makes this even that much stronger. But yeah, enemies that walk... Or enemies that rotate, they're going to be a problem. Do we want to go? I mean, we're one guppy item away from becoming guppy. We fucked up Scapular, too. Like an asshole. Um, but we don't actually need to go to the curse room anymore. I don't I don't want to take the hearts. Give me the half heart. There we go. Now we can use Scapular effectively. And the lovers can get us out of a dangerous situation here. Dude, this is actually, like... The best overpowered, but also still slightly dangerous run I've ever had. The reroll enabled this, too. Which is great, because it looked like a garbage reroll for... Quite some time. Don't take the half heart. Don't take the half heart. You're fine on half hearts. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing that we've created here in tandem with one another. Alright, we can walk on spikes now. It doesn't matter. Which is really useful for a room like that. Now, we can't get exploded. That'll still be bad. And that was, you know, a taste of things to come there on some enemies, but that's okay. I have a feeling, you know, we got a good chance of a deal with the devil on this floor right now. Let's see if we can get that guppy dream to come true. And especially if we get nine lives, like, we're so set. Now, our deal with the devil chances have just dwindled because I am a moron. Wait, we don't have a good deal with the devil chance. I took, I took red heart damage, like, several times. Bosses are still going to be a little tricky. Probably. 
At least they, they stand a chance to be. No deal with the devil, but the toothpicks. I'll head down to the next floor. Definitely, this is like... If you could ask me to come up with the perfect anti-hush run, like the run that you just do not, under any circumstances, want to go to the hush fight, this is it. And I mean that sincerely. So sincerely that I'm not going to follow it up with Lucini Purim from the sky, even though every bone in my body is telling me to do so. Um... It's just like, this is not the ideal way to fight Hush. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Um, but against, like, all other enemies, as long as you never lose confidence, you cannot be stopped. Especially with, you know, Bloody Penny and the Lover's Card backing us up here and the Scapular helping out. It's pretty easy to just gamble wrong and, like, maybe be a little over-aggressive and screw yourself, but... Uh, as long as you avoid that little pitfall. I think you're in a great spot. Do you need this money, Bumbo? I thought you already hit max level, but... You know, we'll give him some more. Bumbo's helping out, too. Like, don't let me act like Bumbo's not doing anything here. I mean... <sighs> Fine. You know, if you're gonna twist my arm, I'll go for the Yara play, okay? I mean, it is the right play from a getting dope synergy standpoint it's just the wrong play from like a i'm scared for my life standpoint but the more spirit arts we can add the better maybe we shouldn't take those and we should lean harder into the scapular play but look you know you gotta pick your battles it's very hard to guarantee that we're not gonna take hits on some of these enemies like you know especially if you just stand still when they shoot an explosion at you that's not gonna work out in your favor probably um, there is a double key room, and there is uh, a key beggar inside of it that I do not care about. There's a golden chest, and that gives us a hermit card, which I also do not care about. But on the right room, it p just fucking pops off, and it's beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Alright, curse rooms are free. Mm, yeah, you gotta go gimpy here. Just anything to leverage your existing... Uh, that was really bad. Anything to leverage your existing, you know, HP and turning it into something more than HP is going to be valuable for us. And, you know, every spirit heart goes a long, long way in this situation. This is like the, the suboptimal room for us. Any room in which we have to do uh, attacking damage, like with our actual shots, it's like, what is this, 2012? Like, I don't want to shoot. I got the ability to walk into enemies and turn them into poop. That's how video games are now. Now that was the best Isaac's Heart dodge I've ever done. If you weren't paying attention, you'd just be like, yeah, it's just a normal Isaac's Heart dodge. No, that what you just saw was like the fucking, you know, it was the Beethoven of Isaac's Heart dodges. I don't say that just to build myself up here. It'll probably never happen again, but in that moment, it was beautiful. So just stand in front of the heart. It's not going to stop a laser beam from roasting you, but, you know, it's, it's a start. I, do you want HP? You might as well take HP that leaves you on a half-heart interval, I think. Which is, like, we'll just stick here. Because it's just a longer kind of, like, telomere before you actually find yourself in a position to potentially die. So, I think we're going to hold it just like this for now. That was, again, what happened? Lost confidence. Next hit, though, we'll get back on the Spirit Heart train, so. Not really sweating it, but I'm starting to see, you know, I'm starting to see how this could go wrong. But the memeage of the, the run is worth the cost and the risk right now. And again, you know, if we can get over half hearts, that's fine by me. We don't need to use Scapular over and over. If we can just, you know, have enough HP to live absolutely, that's fine by me as well. And we'll play this guy until he's got nothing left in the tank. Or until we got nothing left in the tank. I guess either one is plausible. Mmm, fanny pack. We're, we're kind of building up like a sub-synergy here. And the sub-synergy is, you know, when we take damage, which will happen, you know, frequently probably, um, we will still get the potentiality of getting good stuff off it from either Gimpy or, uh, or fanny pack. That was bad damage, but... That was the worst of all damage. But again, we've, I forgot, like, Gimpy is also going to give us um, the ability to 
get red hearts from a lot of enemies. And I'm starting to realize, oh, there's a lot of bosses down here. And this is where, like, Turdy Touch just falls apart. It's not that it's awful. It's just that it's not an instant KO. Which kind of makes it awful by default in some situations, unfortunately. Because if you can't kill them quickly enough, you're going to miss a, a, an attack and you're going to walk into them by accident. It's going to be a whole it's gonna be a whole thing. Like that, for example, right there. So, once we get down to the chest and like almost every enemy is a boss, I'm a little bit more worried for our chances, but... We are proving nearly invincible right now. And we can probably get all that when we leave this floor. We're going to get eight, eight items on the next floor. You know, we don't need much. Uh, Unicorn Stump gives us the easiest win of all time. Well, no, that's not fair. We've had easier wins, but it'd be up there in terms of win easiness. Amnesia. Not that bad. We know we're probably going the right way, uh, case in point. I think we should get all of our HP before going to this next uh, fight. Assuming we, we have enough to get. Like, there's got to be... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll even go against the half-heart interval here to make this happen. Check. Check. And we probably just get Bumbo in there and then stay the fuck away. Like, we actually benefit um, from not really being in there, I think. Like, this is one where we do not want to use... Uh, we don't want to use Turdy Touch. And it's going to be a good habit to get into for the next floor anyway. If we were really greedy, we might be able to get a little damage out of it, but I think it's the wrong call. Okay, wrong call 2012. We're going to seemingly get started back on the right foot here. Two hearts is fine. I think that's where we want to be so we can potentially get half heart intervals out of it in the future. Throw down the Yera, and of course it has to finish with Curse of the Blind. When you're playing a meme, there's nothing else you can do. Taurus could be amazing. Um, Ludo, I have no idea. SMB Superfan is fine. Maybe even lovely. Firemind, dangerous, but cool. Butterbean, absolute garbage. Glowing Hourglass, I have no idea how to use this item and will never invest the time to figure it out, apparently. Okay, Firemind plus Tammy's Head is a recipe for getting your ass hit. I think, what, what's the ticket here? Walk around a lot, use Ludo to deal a bunch of damage, always pop Tammy's head, uh, but try to get Taurus to pop off. Because once Taurus pops off, we get guilt-free, like, uh, turdy touch usage. Bumbo's also doing great work here with his bombs. Really appreciate it, Bumbo, thanks. You bring a certain uh, explosive je ne sais quoi to the situation whenever you arrive. Now, please just stand here. Beautiful. I don't know. I mean, this is like a very bad... Well, relative to how good it was recently, this is a very bad chest situation. Like, if we were as good on the chest as we were on the cathedral, I'd be loving life right now. But we're, we're just not, so... Slightly, like... Disappointing? I would say not disappointing, because it's like a creative way to tackle the game. I've had a good time with the uh, with the run so far, and we created the synergy, you know, of our own devices, which was cool, but yeah, it's fair to say, like, Turdy Touch becomes pretty useless on these these final floors here. Alright, it's so our second Steam Sale, which is just completely worthless right now. Did I actually place that bomb? Because, like, if I did, there's no excuse for my own idiocy. Should not have gotten to the super half-heart interval there. That was idiotic. Okay, you know what? You find yourself in a bit of a weird position here. Ludo plus Firemind is so annoying, but it's not like we could have avoided it with Curse of the Blind, at least, you know, reasonably speaking. But we're gonna just use our shots to do more damage, because the damage that I'm doing by walking in there, it's not proven that useful right now. Please. The Firemind annoyance is reaching never-before-seen heights. Is there a spirit heart there? Two bombs. We may actually want those bombs more than we realize right now, but... Bloody Penny didn't come through in the clutch there, but you know what? I only came knocking when I needed something, and I can see why Bloody Penny would be offended by that. That's not a way to treat a friend. 
Is something on your mind there now? No, it's... We're gonna... Just keep ourselves as strong as possible here. This is probably one of the, like, strongest runs I've ever done. Uh, from a... Using the scapular standpoint. And I really actually am enjoying that. The scapular is such a powerful item that I overlooked for literal years. Literally, you get the scapular and be like, Well, hopefully I never need to use that. That's a bad attitude. You should make, uh, you know, what can brown do for you, dude? What can scapular do for you? And we're taking advantage of that now in a big way. And in a way that I'm enjoying here. And I, I think we're... We're nearly unkillable. We probably don't hit unkillable status, but nearly unkillable. The bomb explodes so quickly! It's again that it's the anti-birth afterbirth quandary. Wherein uh I get my uh I get confused about the amount of time that it's acceptable to stand next to a bomb. Now the smart asses amongst you are gonna say it's never acceptable to spend any amount of time standing next to a bomb. I disagree with that. I think that's an invalid criticism. Sometimes I think it's very valid if it helps you get, you know, more value out of the bomb. You know, you sometimes you gotta kick it. Even, you know, Q-Tip said, can I kick it? To all the tribes who flow in layers. I forget some of the layers. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, on the Essential Tribe Call Quest, I usually skip can I kick it. Um, in the interest of getting to uh, a ward tour faster. Not that it's a bad song, but you know. But you know. All right, we don't have, um, man, Bloody Penny makes us, like, unkillable as well, but we don't have, uh, a lot of scapular time left. Dude, it's serious. You know what it is? It's not even Glitter Bombs exploding too quickly. It's actually Fire Mind confusing the Christ out of me. There we go. Back on the half-heart interval. Yeah, it's, oh my god. Talk about it, like, the ultimate idiocy. Um, Fire Mind... Not only causing me to miss, like, every Ludo shot, because it, Ludo Continuum is doing, like, weird shit here. But then also beyond that, every time I use Tammy's head, or almost every time I use Tammy's head, I'm taking mad damage like a freaking idiot. Because it just explodes in my face. So what do you do to get around that? I guess use it from further away. And stop blaming Glitter Bombs. Glitter Bombs were innocent in this run. And it's probably an indication I played too much Isaac today. So let's, you know, win this run, Mr. Gorbachev. Please win this run. And then we're gonna, you know, go do something else for a bit. Which I think is probably sane and sensible. And you know what, Bumbo? Why don't you just, you know, do what you do. Okay, stop taking so much damage. That's... God, Ludo is... <laughs> Ludo Firemine is actually, like, it's worse than nothing. Because it's just annoying. We're very nearly squandering kind of like a sure thing here. Yeah, that, that could do it, honestly. Thank you, Dry Baby. Thank you, Dry Baby. He's come through in the clutch, just don't die to the fly. All right, that was disastrous, but at least we came through with a win in the end, despite losing earlier in the run. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.